Hey everyone in YouTube world, um, I'm Jenny or Carpe Jenny as I am on YouTube. Um, I've got a couple of Candles by Victoria products that I'd love to review for you guys. Um, this is my first review video and hopefully not the last one. Um, Candles by Victoria is a website where an amazing group of people um, make candles and sell them online. Um, there's one store in Van, Texas that you can go and smell everything and pick stuff up and buy in person, but most of it's online. So there's really cool thing. Everything, every time you buy a package, you usually get a free scent shot. And I'm going to start off with that. This is vanilla grapefruit. Um, love it uh, because it's purple. Um, I wasn't really thrilled with going, oh, grapefruit, eh, I don't know. Vanilla is my favorite thing, and as I'm sitting here smelling it for like the third or fourth or fifth time, maybe even more, I smell grapefruit, and it's like a pink grapefruit, not that like ruby red grapefruit, um, and then you get the vanilla, but what's really cool is it's not like that, oh my god, squirt in your eye, painful type grapefruit. It's just the tartness without the pain. Because the vanilla definitely cuts it down. Um, I don't know what it's going to smell like warm though, because I don't have a tart warmer yet. And I won't get one for probably about three months, because I'm moving and I don't want to have to haul a whole lot of extra stuff. Um... So this will have to be another review when it's warm, along with all the other free scent shots I'm going to get because I've <laughs> got a second order on its way. Um, the whole reason why I did Candles by Victoria is because of everyone else doing the whole um, reviews online. All the makeup guru gurus I follow swear by Candles by Victoria. Say Anything Brooke got me hooked. Um, and I picked up gone grape um, as one of my first choices I got the six uh, candles nine ounce size uh, pack for $45 plus some um, oh, 53 if I add the shipping charges plus a little tax I think but that's besides the point um, you can find all of her prices online, and usually there's sales, and you'll find out the discounts. Anyway, <laughs> I go off on tangents all the time. My students hate it. Um, I love grape, and I can definitely smell the grape, and I'm just waving it around, and it smells so good. Um, it literally smells like when you taste a frozen popsicle, a grape popsicle. That's exactly what it smells like. And it's so good. And it's actually kind of weird because I've got something burning right now that I'll show you in a bit. I can still smell this almost over top of that because this is so good. It's, it's strong, cold, and it's even stronger warm. And it's so great. And when I mean cold, I mean not lit. And warm means either being burnt by light or probably even by a warmer. Um, without fire. Now, I went through and I looked at the list of 500 or so, you know, 500 plus um, scents, and I came across candy corn. One of my favorite candies ever, besides Swedish Fish. I'm going to have to figure out a fragrance for that one, a scent for that one. I love Swedish Fish too. Um, candy corn I picked up. It's a nice yellow color. Um, I've burnt this once before, and it's stronger now, cold, than what it was. It's cured, but it still smells very buttery. Um, it almost smells like buttered popcorn, even though I haven't smelt that one. And it's really good warm. When it's lit, this is really good. Um, it's hard to describe besides saying, go buy a bag of candy corn and open it. Uh, it's so good when it's lit. 
like I've got four bags in the pantry and I can go show you that I have them and that's how much I love this candy and that's how much good it smells when it's warm. Um, go, still going through the list, I picked out a uh, off the wall one that I didn't think I'd like and I really don't like it cold. I mean, I'm disgusted by how it smells cold. But Dr. Pepper smells really good lit. It actually takes the taste into a scent. And when it's lit, it is so good. Like right now, not so good. But it does smell like it has the fizz, which might be the reason why I don't like it. But Dr. Pepper, you have to light it to like it. And this probably will still be one of those that I'm going to have in like three months when I do move. But that's okay. Because I do like it when it's lit. And it'll be one of those once in a while extra scents. I got the six pack and I picked out five. You've gotten three. And the sixth scent that I chose... I let Candles by Victoria pick out, and I'm actually doing that next, because it's really, really yummy, and every person who has reviewed it that I've seen, every review I've read, loves, oh, got to, <sighs> caramelized pralines, caramel, and a walnut pecan scent. It's it's so good cold and it's so good warm and when it's warm my mouth waters and I have to eat. Regardless of if I'm eating something with caramel or nuts, I have to eat and it makes me so hungry. I could have just eaten like 30 minutes ago a full meal and my stomach could be bulging 30 minutes ago and I'd have to eat again. Took this into work along with uh, candy corn and the last two I'm going to review. And everyone loved this one. So I'm going to have to get many, many candles or some scent shots for them and just give them away. Because I've got to get the word out of this and Candles by Victoria and just spread the love. This is what spreads the love. Um... The last two I picked was because I live with my boyfriend and I don't want to burn anything that he's not going to like. So I picked up two just in case he wasn't going to like the four I've reviewed. And he's liked every one except for Grape and Dr. Pepper. He's not a big Dr. Pepper fan and he doesn't really like fruity scents, so whatever. <laughs> just means I get to burn him when he's not here. Um, I picked up cookies and cream because he loves his cookies and his milk there. Every evening we have a couple of cookies and we have a glass of milk and that's our dessert. So I picked up this for him and upon the cold sniff you smell a couple of scents but I can't really pick out anything. Now burning puts a whole light under this candle and changes its scents for me. It becomes mostly vanilla and there's a nice undertone of chocolate when it burns. And it literally smells like the cream and the cookies that you get. Um, and it's the perfect balance when you're burning it. But right now, I still can't pick out those scents. Now the last one that I have burning is one that I like to burn and trick my boyfriend into thinking that I've baked it. And it works every time. And it's the third time now I'm doing it. And I hope he's finally gonna pick up on it, but I'm gonna show you how it looks lit. And let's go see it. Sorry the mess. Here it is, burning. And then we're going to get a look of the nice melted pool. Mmm. And this deliciousness is red velvet cake. 
So with that being said, it tricks him every time and it thinks I've baked it. Get it. Get caramelized pralines. Get any of these that you've liked. Try it if you don't. Give it a shot. Like I'm gonna give the vanilla grapefruit a shot once I get a tart warmer. So, until next time, have a good one.